East side, west side. Go grab your tummy gun, guys, and your bathtub gin, because today we're going to talk about Al Capone's favorite cocktail in the Prohibition era, the south side. Hey guys, my name's George Kimora. Welcome, today we're gonna to talk about my favorite gin cocktail. It is the South Side. It's delicious, it is boozy, it is citrusy, it's refreshing, and it's really easy to make. It's said to have been created in New York's speakeasy, the 21 Club during Prohibition, and let's just get into it and make it, right? So, the first ingredient that we're going to use is some gin. I'm gonna use a New Zealand dry gin called Scape Grace. It's fantastic, the juniper will really come through in this cocktail with the citrus. 60 mils of the scape grace. The next ingredient we're going to use is some mint leaves, about six to eight mint leaves. I like to break up the mint leaves to get those aromatics out. Okay, then we're going to need some fresh lime juice, 30 mils of fresh lime juice. Don't use that fake lime juice, okay, that you buy from the supermarkets. The reason that the lime is in this is for the balance, so always use fresh. Now, before I forget, I always chill down my glassware. We don't want to have a nice chilled cocktail going into a warm glass. And last but not least, 15 mils of sugar syrup. Pretty simple, not many ingredients there. A good scoop of ice. and a shake. All right. Double strained. So you can do this in a cocktail glass, you can do this in a Nicanora, which is what I'm going to do today. And for the garnish, all we need is a naughty little mint leaf. Really likes to be spanked. We're giving it a little bit of a spank there to release the aromas. And guys, there you have the south side. So it's said to be one of Al Capone's favorite cocktails during Prohibition. Although it was created in New York City, it was very popular in uh, Chicago, especially down in the South Side. You see, what happened during those times was the North Side mobsters had easy access to really good uh, spirits, like their whiskies and the gins that they would smuggle in from overseas. Whereas the South Side mobsters, they used really cheap and illegal bathtub gin. So what they had to do is they had to add citrus and sugar to make it taste better. There are also a few cool variations of this cocktail. If you want to add a little bit of sparkling wine or champagne, it becomes a Southside Royale. Add a little bit of soda water. It is a Southside Fizz. And one of my favorites also is the East Side. Exactly the same specs with a little bit of muddled cucumber. So I'm gonna make for you another variation of this classic cocktail. It was created by Sinead Jones at the 18th Amendment Bar here in Australia, and this is called the Jitterbug. So this cocktail's been really popular here at the 18th Amendment Bar. First uh, ingredient that I'm going to use is 30 mils of the Camorra Fairy Floss. Unfortunately, only available in Australia at the moment. However, if you do want to substitute, this works really well with Chambord. Next ingredient is a couple slices of cucumber, which we're going to muddle up. Next up, 30 mils of Hendrix gin. I find the Hendrix Gin with the rose and cucumber really complements the cucumber in this drink as well as the Fairy Floss Liqueur. Next up, 30 mils of fresh lime juice. About 10 mils of sugar syrup. Next up, we're gonna have some mint leaves. Okay, I love using fresh mint leaves. Some ice. Give it a shake. Don't 
double strained. And for the garnish, a nice cucumber ribbon. And there's Sinead's twist on the south side, the jitterbug. So thanks for joining me guys. Please subscribe, give us the like and comment below. Did you try the uh, jitterbug or do you like the south side? Or what is your favorite gin cocktail? I'd really love to hear your feedback. We'll see you again soon.